Hey you guys, it's Miss D again. Alright you guys, I am getting ready to have some gingerbread fun. Yes, because this is actually the theme for this year, I'm thinking. Everything is all about the gingerbread. So, I am going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you... Some of the things I'll be using to make my gingerbread. Alright, as you can see, I found this ribbon. And I took it off of the spool. I think I got it from, I want to say Michael's. For, it was on sale for $9.99. I mean, no. It was on sale for half the price. It was $9.99 regularly. As you can see, I have it in a plastic right now. But I took these... And I cut them off. And I actually cut these little guys off of here. Because I saw me using them. On tags. So yes. This will be one of my projects. For tags you guys. I'll have to come back. And show you what I do with these. But here they are. These little guys all cut out. Yeah, aren't they cute, cute, cute? Yes, I cut a bunch of them out. And I also cut out the little ribbons. And they have one with candy canes on it. I'll have to show you that later. But I haven't started cutting those. But yeah, um, that's just looking at ribbon in a whole nother light. What can you do with them? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to actually take all these little boogers. As you can see, I cut out loads of them. And I'm going to make tags. My gingerbread tags with them. Because it fits, right? Yeah, and then I used the Reek Collections gingerbread. It could be a boy or a girl. And as you can see, I took these little guys and girls and I started putting them together and you could use them however you want so yeah I'll be using these <laughs> aren't they the cutest yes and I also have some little teeny cutouts I'm not certain if I'm gonna cut these little teeny pieces out and I just like to use those and then I have these wooden veneers and what I did was I took ink an ink pad and one of these little things and I colored them up so that they would be the color of gingerbread and I'll have to come back and show you how I use these on a tag also they had this at um, Michael's and they were 50% off and then you were able to use an additional 30% off coupon. So I paid something like $3, $3 and some change for these. If that, I think it was 2 something that I ended up paying for these. Yeah, but there's all the little ginger brings. It's a garland, but of course, I'm going to dismantle this little garland and use it like that. And then, you guys, I have a tool here, a die, and I am going to put this together, but this I know for sure is going to be a ornament, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this ornament together. Alright, I had to cut out the little snow on the top, the little, look how teeny those candy canes are and then I use the door the little gingerbread look how teeny and then it's the house with the little I guess that's the gable that go uh, not the gable but whatever it is it goes on the top of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to show you what you do first 
first I actually took the I cut this out and then I took a string and put it down the middle so that I would have something to hold it and then I took the edges and I inked them up okay I inked up all of the edges well it has a lot of parts and pieces on here that you have to put together too so what I did was I cut out all the pieces and now I'm going to show you how easy it is if you do it this way how easy it would be to assemble this little house all right you guys this is going to be one of my little projects that I'm going to put together I had everything over here ready for you I inked up all the little edges let's see here actually putting this here gluing this on here and then it's this little door right and I want to ink it up too yeah and it has one on each side so I'm gonna ink this up and if I put it against this it will just be um, you'll see the little holes in there but you won't see it as a background so I didn't do this so I'm gonna have to do it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little strip of paper and glue it on the back of here Glue that on the back of here so that you can see those little heart pieces. It's actually like a little window. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to place glue on the door. And I'm going to put it on here. Mind you, there is a door on both sides of this little house. So... What you can do is do both of them at the same time. Do I have another door? Um, I know, whenever you're ready to do something, you can't do it, can you? Because you're not really ready to do it, right? <laughs> no, but I am. Okay, I'm going to take this little piece, cut a little piece off. And I'm going to glue it on the back of this door. And this is a wood door. And guess what I didn't do? I did not um, ink it first. So I'm going to ink the edges. I'm going to ink the edges. Oh no. There you are. And I'm going to glue this some glue on there and I'm going to actually glue this on the back side right here well, okay the door is just fine but it leaves a little definition so what I did was I cut the trim out the door out in brown and then I cut it again in black so that I could kind of accent the door with the black. There you are. You might want to use a little pair of needles or something if you need to. But yeah. Um, it's pretty much. And I'm just showing you how I actually put this together before I put it together because it's easier to put all of the little accents on it 
before you try to glue it closed. But it's as easy as this. If you do it this way, it just makes it a lot easier. Let me put the other little deal here. It just makes it a lot easier for you to construct this little piece. Okay, I think I have a die like this from Michaels too. But, you guys, I am just trying to get back into crafting. So, the last thing I had on my desk before I left was, um, were, everything was Halloween. And I didn't get a chance to do anything else. So now I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it on the top of the house. It's like, I don't know what it's like, but okay. I'm going to put it up here on the top of the house. Yeah, I'm just trying to construct this entire house without having to do it once I shut it closed. And if you do this, it makes it a lot easier to put together once you close it. A little ornament up so yeah here you go mm -hmm. and hopefully this helps you all the ones that have this die I am going to the first few videos I make will probably be totally about um, gingerbread men or ladies, <laughs> however you want to put it. Okay, here's a piece right here that I'm going to put across the top of this. I thank you guys. I made a boo boo. This right here is not the middle of this. I had to pull that out. This is not the middle of the. of the ornament this is right where I put that piece so I'll have to actually put that string in the middle of here so here you go I like this because it's like doing the miniatures. Um, I use this Tombow glue. And it's super sticky, you guys. <laughs> I know, right? Did y'all hear my stomach growl? Yes, it did. Alright, I guess it's dinner time. Alright, you guys. Um, yeah, so there you are. And I pretty much have everything on it that I want on it. Other than the little gingerbread men. And I don't even know where I want them yet. So I'm not going to put them on there. But what I am going to have to do is put another hole on the top of this. And I'll show you since I did it before. This time I could show you exactly how I did it. If I could find the needle that I was using. Mm. Whenever you're ready to do something, you can't find your tools that you're using on a regular to do what you're doing. Alright, you guys. I am I'm just looking for any needle. But of course I can't find one. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll use this needle. And all I'm going to do is puncture the center of this and then I'm going to take this and just put it back through. It has sticky stuff on it so of course now that I'm trying to show you guys how to do it now you could just string your needle string your needle and pull it through but I tied the middle piece and there you are and then you just want to put it together okay 
you have already folded and inked all of your edges and so you're going to glue this little booger together and let me show you how to do that you'll take your glue and you'll put it on your folds on all of your folds all right I'm going to sit that there for a second so that it could kind of start drying uh, once it starts drying on all of my tabs I want to put glue and like I said I like this Tombow glue because I use it for my miniatures um, and that's another a whole nother video but I'll have to get back into doing those alright and then you just adhere your edges. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to do this side and then I'm going to do this side. Make sure they're together. Yes, there you are. And then I'm going to do this side and this side. And if you make sure those are together, guess what? Everything else kind of falls in place, you see? Yeah, if you let this dry a little first, it will adhere better. We're going to do this side. There's your little ornament. How cute is that? It's a gingerbread house, you guys. And then... I'm going to do the bottom and just close it up and you're putting all your pieces inside so that you have all finished edges. <coughs> There's your ornament. Okay and you have your little gingerbread men and your little candy canes to put all over this but that is how you would put this little house together um, and you would do it like this so that it's easier to put together you can actually cut more of these little pieces out and put it on the bottom here or on the edges and stuff yes yeah, so that you have snow going all the way around you could make it as detailed as you want when I come back I'll have the other ones completed for you with everything on it all glittered up but I did want to show you how easy it was to assemble this little booger first and then glue it okay you guys that is the start of my gingerbread series so I hope you enjoyed and if you have I need some inspiration you guys so if you guys are doing anything let me know what are you doing with gingerbread men this year I'm gonna come back with tags that I actually use these little guys with I'm gonna decorate these guys come back and show you what I did with them alright you guys thanks for watching talk to you later bye